Hello and welcome to another episode of TFG Indian Football Roundup. And this is some sort of a sequel, a follow-up episode, if you will. Uh, three years ago, uh, after uh, Kolkata Games and Sports Private Limited uh, announced their investment deal with Mohan Bagan, uh, we spoke to somebody who is well known in Mohan Bagan fan circles. He's a he's a singer. He's a, a professional. He's also a Mohan Bagan member. It was a very different kind of a podcast back then. Uh, a lot has happened over the last three years. Uh, if you've been reading the fangarage.com, you have kept up with uh, exactly what was happening. We also did uh, a couple of podcast episodes uh, talking about the identity crisis that the club has gone through. But it seems like that little chapter in Mohan Bagan's history is about to wrap up. And who better to uh, catch up with? Uh, to discuss this in detail other than Shumanto Chakraborty, uh, who is known to all the Mohan Bagan fans. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you, Chiranjit? Long time. Uh, relieved? <laughs> yeah, somewhat. How do you, how do you uh, feel uh, now that, like, because the last three years, uh, this uh, ATK prefix and the merger narrative, it really shaped how a lot of the fans interacted with the club, how they felt towards the football team, particularly how they uh, saw the officials, uh, the investors, everybody. But now all of a sudden, it seems like, you know, we're on the precipice of all that changing. So how do you react to the reality we're facing today? Yeah, Chiranjit, uh, before reacting anything, first of all, uh, let me tell you that I'm actually very scared because this is the same type of program, same thing which we had done three years back once the KGSPL announced its deal and there was a so-called merger with ATK and Mohan Bagan football team. And if you remember that time also, instead of going into details of the entire transaction, before being exposed to the adverse side of this merger or the branding, whatever you say, uh, we were related. I, I remember talking to you and I said that I'm very much happy and very and grateful to the officials, grateful to the to Sanjeev Goenka for having such a very great deal. And I, I told that time that I don't think ATK prefix will matter much because um, earlier we used to had Magdal Mohan Bagan and now ATK Mohan Bagan. I remember all those, but later on, the things unfolded in front of us was horrible. But uh, for next one year and one and a half year, uh, initially we started supporting the team uh, same way we used to support the Mohan Bagan. But one after another incident, the branding part, the marketing part, the margin narrative, the three star in the logo, the washing machine ad. I think the major shocker was the washing machine ad, uh, which proved that um, they actually didn't understand the sentiment or the pulse of the Mohan Bagan fans. They just thrown the two jerseys in the washing machine and uh, a new ATK Mohan Bagan jersey has emerged quite in the line of the narrative what Ustra Parekh told that there will be no ATK fans, there will be no Mohan Bagan fans. It is ATK Mohan Bagan fans. I think that's what they tried to follow. They want to establish it is a new club which has taken its birth in, 19, uh, in 2020. And um, so, uh, don't you think it's a bit early? Uh, but I am a bit scared that what kind of relation or what kind of reaction I now give about this um, entire new Mohan Bagan super, super Giants, whatever Sanjeev Goenka announced on the day of ISL final. So, I don't know. Well, okay. So, uh, that part of the concern is very valid. Like, we're uh, on the, uh, you know, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice. You know, we're really uh, uh, apprehensive about being fooled twice. But, uh, I think a couple of things are different this time. To begin with, the merger narrative has been more or less abandoned uh, by KGSP, and that's not that did not happen immediately. That like probably happened somewhere uh, around uh, last year yes, itself. I think, I think 
मार्जिन नेगेटिव ब्रांडिंग हैज गॉन एंड आई थिंक टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट इफ दिस मोहन बगान सुपर जॉइंट थिंग हैज टू कम इन प्लेस लीगली लीगली दैट मार्जिन विद केजी स्पीड और एटी के व्हाटएवर इट इज विद मोहन बगान फुटबॉल प्राइवेट फुटबॉल क्लब प्राइवेट लिमिटेड has to also come to an end a legal end and a new legal entity has to be formed with IPSG as far as my limited knowledge goes that it mm. has to a legal uh, entity will also be different from whatever legal entity we are having at the time of ATK Mohan Bagan so if that mm. happens then there is no question of, even the in that the, from the branding perspective also there is no question of merger so it will mm. be uh, with RPSG and Mohan Bagan and uh, then rpsg using its brand mohan bagan using its brand so that's fine because we all know that super giant is a uh, sporting brand of sanjeev goenka led rpsg group they are using it in different uh, cross sports platform that is in uh, so lucknow and as well as in durban and as far as my knowledge goes there will be uh kabaddi team pro kabaddi team also of rpsg which will be either it has already been renamed or it will be renamed i'm not sure and under mm-hmm. the one umbrella of super giant sanjeev goenka is trying to bring all its sporting entities and that's perfectly okay if the legal formation the branding it goes like the same way that it is just a mohan bagan mohan bagan is a single individual identity that's what single individual footballing identity i i would like to correct myself that single mm. individual footballing identity is mohan bagan and super giant or sg whatsoever that is a brand prefix, brand suffix i mm. think that's perfectly fine and it should go down well with the fans and the initial reaction which i can tell you uh, from my experience with my uh, interaction with the fellow mariners interaction with my friends my colleagues or the people around my circle but, uh, most of them are happy but a bit of apprehension is always there that because people once bitten twice shy you know uh, we don't know that's very true uh, i heard there is some rpsg mohan bagan limited kind of company was uh, registered last year i have not seen this i have yeah, like yeah, only have heard this heard, i have also heard that is in uh, social media i have seen i have seen few posts two three posts we have seen that that rpsg mohan bagan private limited is will be the new legal entity so but uh, there is no official confirmation of that and in the last three years you will be knowing better we have seen so many such things in the <laughs> social media so you, you can't say today what exactly is correct and what exactly is not until and unless thing gets announced on official platforms uh, yeah. we have to wait that's true but you know this just uh, where we have come you know now that like we're even talking about things looking up that is a huge leap like 2020 when everybody was uh, at their lowest with the third gate with the three stars uh, with uh, utsav parekh making that statement that there will be no mohan bagan fans there will be only atk mohan bagan fans it looked like there was this heavily funded corporate mechanism that was you know uh, putting out this narrative across all news entertainment uh, sports and media platforms that this is not mohan bagan like literally that was their adamant position that this is not mohan bagan this is something uh, we are uh, we are creating uh, completely new and we are going to reject all of mohan bagan's history we are going to completely dissociate with the uh, with the team that has been serving indian football for more than 130 years yeah, that is so chiranjeet actually um... we have never thought at the time of the inception of this atk mohan bagan private limited we have never thought that it will be projected in such a way that the, in 133 years of mohan bagan's history will not be given prime importance and it will be shown as a atk mohan bagan new march identity that's a sharing of the footballing identity that is you are sharing your footballing identity with a six years club atk 
uh, who is uh, pretty successful in the prime footballing competition of the country. So it is always an identity crisis uh, which can prevail. And that's what, uh, when, uh, as for example, Mohan Bagan was playing in the I League and ATK was playing in Indian Super League. So when this ATK Mohan Bagan combined entities start playing in Indian Super League, so in the Indian Super League circuit also, this team is unofficially been known as ATK Rechristian, ATK rebranded. So had it been a different way that ATK Mohan Bagan started playing in I League, then it could have been a different scenario. People would have called it by their casual conversation or casual chat or in any other media when referring to a team with a, a smaller abbreviation, they would have said that MB, they would have said Mohan Bagan had it been an I League. But since it's an ISL where ATK has its uh, history uh, of five or six years, people are uh, very much comfortable calling this team as ATK. And that that's what we have seen uh, throughout the three years. As you have correctly said, that first year, that is 2020-21, it was a real shocker. And I think the first one year or one and a half year of this entire three-year saga is the biggest low in my life as Mohan Bagan fan. Mm. You can, you know, you are a long time Mohan Bagan fan since your birth and you know that we have gone through a very bad phase in terms of winning the trophy from 2008-9 for a national level trophy from 2008-9 uh, to 2015 and if you call for a national league, it was almost 11-12 years of uh, mm. wait since 13 years yeah. yeah 13 years of wait that's a and from 2002 so yeah uh, that time we had a bad time we had our lows we had fought we had to fought with the rival supporters we had to fought with the trollings but those are all football related stuff that is yes this team is not performing well so people are trolling us that you have been defeated on the ground so there will be from the troll, you can also take your new vote that yes, we will come back stronger, we will rise stronger, and someday or else we will uh, be seen as a victorious, we will be winning. So that is a hope, that was a hope that was going on, that is purely strictly on footballing terms. No one ever was able to tell that there is no Mohan Bagan anymore, your club mm -hmm. is dead. So you think about it. I know you can, you can uh, match with this sentiment and you can understand the sentiment because you personally have also gone through this. But suddenly from birth, you have been associated with something. Uh, Mohan Bagan Football Club established 1889. And you are a follower of that. You have given uh, the psychological part of your brain, the 70-80% psychological part of your brain dedicated towards the well-being of a club for which uh, you really uh, adore it, you really worship it as your second mother for not only 5-10 years, that is since your birth, for 25-30-35 years, 40-50 uh, years for many people. And suddenly one fine morning, somebody said, that there, that club is no more. This now, this is the the identity which is representing you in the Indian Super League or in the topmost tier of the topmost footballing tier of the country. This is a marched club. You have to share your identity. So that why that was becoming very hard to come into terms in 2020-21. So in the first one and a half year, it was a real low. After that, mm -hmm. we thought that um, come what may, uh, we have to, we have to come for protest. We have mm -hmm. to, we have to say at least from being a regular fan, being a normal fan or a normal as a member of the club, we have to say that we are not very much okay with such kind of arrangement. We don't mind mm -hmm. putting a investor's name or investor's prefix, suffix, because it is very, uh, it is very justified that if a person or if a company is investing such an amount of money, 
ranging from 40 to 50 crore, they will definitely try to get out of something because we all know Chiranjit, the return in Indian football circuit is not that great. Uh, from any other resources, the gate sale, the TV rights, uh, merchandise, nothing is that much organized, nothing is that much uh, stable. No, uh, f So you have to get some return and for that the investor try to keep their uh, name or the brand name as the fix or suffix, that is perfectly fine. But why ATK, which is a football club and you yourself are saying that you have surrendered your license and you are this mm. football team is playing in with the registration of Mohan Bagan football club so technically this ATK Mohan Bagan was also Mohan Bagan but mm. you are not branding it that way mm. so it is a kind of dilemma I don't know because some part of my brain says that yes it is Mohan Bagan it is playing with green and maroon jersey it is playing with the logo the symbol of Mohan Bagan only uh, the chant saying and the hashtag saying Joy Mogan Bagan, that is the prime hashtag of this year. And most importantly, they are playing with the registration of Mohan Bagan Football Club. So this is Mohan Bagan. But when you mm. open Facebook, when you open Instagram, when you open Twitter, there suddenly you will see that some some opponent coach is giving an interview and referring it is ATK, ATK, ATK. Ah, yeah, ATK is a very formidable team and we have to think about it. They are four, three times champion and this. What is this? I don't want to associate myself with some identity where we have to share the three times ISL championship at dead uh, football club with Mohan yeah. Bagan. Mohan Bagan has a 250 plus footballing history, uh, 250 plus uh, major league, the major titles in uh, the country they have won. Why should we have to share? And so in the last one year, it was complete um, disassociation from this entity, Chiranjit. Mm. Um, trust me, in the last one year, I didn't even know who all are playing for ATK Mohan Bagan or uh, on the match days, we, you know, we used to have so many rituals. We used to have so many things to do on the match day that what is good, what will be good for the Mohan Bagan, what will not be good for the Mohan Bagan. We do all the work, keeping this in mind. And then in the home matches, we had to go to the stadiums. Even if we had busy, hectic schedule in our offices, we used to think that when we should come out, so that we can attend the matches properly, even at the 2 p.m., 4 p.m., 3 p.m. kickoff, kickoff during the I League days. But here, uh, I didn't feel any interest. Trust me, I didn't even know on which day Mumbai ATK OMB was playing. Someday, I was having my dinner at uh, around 10, 10:30 p.m., and suddenly a notification come <coughs> that um, the ATK MB and someone else match is drawn. Then I come to know oh, today there was a match. Oh, I didn't even know. So that was the thing in the last one year. So if I can uh, summarize it, past one year shocking and very low. Second one mm -hmm. year full fledged protest and do not much uh, resistance to accept it. And third year uh, total. Atta de-attachment from this uh, entity. Mm. I think uh, the uh, management also saw the trends and of course like they tried really hard to beef up the numbers at uh, the stadium and uh, of course a lot of things that go into it that they used to do for ATK AFC they tried to do for Mohan Bagan as well but I'm pretty sure they saw the actual ticket sales go down they saw the ratings go down because this is a very common sentiment across all the hardcore Mohan Bagan fans that they, the moment the the major uh, fan clubs came out and said like Marina Space Camp, MDX, they all came out and said we're going to just boycott and uh, just just not be there. It it seemed like they they all disowned it. Makes it, difference. it makes difference. Yeah. Marina's D Extreme, MDX, and Marina's Base Camp not being there in the gallery. It actually yeah. makes a difference. They are, yeah. they are so, uh, they make the atmosphere so electric. They are so mm. vibrant in the crowd. And they actually, all the people are singing, chanting, beating the drums. 
and constantly there is a festive atmosphere in the ground there are uh, there are so many mohan bagan matches you have attended in the mohan bagan ground itself so mainers base camp and mainers gs team always was the front runner and they totally were restrained themselves from supporting this team for last two and a half years hats off to them that they have continued their support and they have led the fan movement basically that what actually mm-hmm. fans wanted so yes yeah. every mohan bagan fan should place their appreciation on record for mainers base camp fan mdx mm-hmm. you know the the way uh, i look back at 3 years the tussle that was going on for mohan bagan fans and uh, this corporate machinery it was it if, i don't know if i'm simplifying this i saw it as love versus hate because there are people and this is a hard reality that there are people within kg spl who absolutely hate mohan bagan maybe yeah. because they yeah yeah they they do i mean i don't know like how much this permeates uh at the top very top of the corporate structure because i mean we've seen utsav parekh uh, insult mohan bagan we have seen uh, uh, a bunch of people uh saying disparaging things about the fans and the and the club's history uh and but but it's especially true at the at the practical ground level uh, of of people who are actually doing the work and who are uh, the the face of the company that common people see you know the the, the people whose face is seen by the fans basically a lot of them do hit mohan bagan i don't know like if they still do but this was very much true and uh, you know we were uh, of course i can't divulge too much but uh, even in social media platforms groups uh, yeah there was a lot of insult at mohan bagan throne and uh, but it one thing see- if i can uh, one thing even if they're sorry to interrupt you one thing i can tell you and that yes the social media handling and the twitter instagram handling was very poor the, from the very yeah. beginning but but if uh, we notice that last one year or last one and a half year so there was not much ob- objectionable whatever little i have followed i have not find that much objectionable thing because they were actually i think they were in the brand transition mode and mm. actually they were they had started uh posting more on the mohan bagan posting more on its legacy on its yeah, supporters that, or that was even done around sudramoor uh, yeah. amader sudramoor theme song had been played too many times yeah. so i was a bit hopeful uh, initially when they started playing this amader sudramoor run and started adapting the mohan bagan culture but and to be very honest last year before starting of the indian super league i expected that something may happen and there was a huge rumor huge mm-hmm. rumor going on uh, across kolkata maidan about this same thing this mohan bagan super giant but that mm-hmm. didn't happen so yeah. that was end of the road for me and i thought that it's all it will never happen anyway yes yeah. see so so 2022 i think they already made the decision uh, and yeah. uh, for some reason they it got delayed till 2023 unfortunately but uh, yeah but that was visible 20... in their in their social media yeah so so yeah. there was there was some personal switching happened and uh, you know different people came in with different ideas uh, but it's the, before that like i'm talking like Uh, when this whole uh, deal was being done and the and the year afterwards the first couple of years i did see this hatred towards uh, mohan bagan and this and this okay. I, attitude that we are we are like doing you a favor you know by giving you money and uh, you know uh, having your identity here it's like uh, you know be be grateful with what you got you know so it's it it i think that was uh, what uh not just i experienced it was uh, what uh, a lot of the people associated to the fan clubs also experienced and that's what drove them down the more extremist path of starting those actual protests in 2021 and uh, yeah those uh, and in a way very interestingly i am very thankful that these people sort of exhibited the hatred towards it like uh especially when uh, afc cup had uh, you know written mohan yeah, bagan on the scoreboard mohan bagan ticker yes mohan yeah, bagan yeah. ticker was there in the scoreboard 
and yeah. actually all the news media and everything was referring this team as mohan bagan and yeah. suddenly and in the next match it changed to atk yeah because because somebody from the company went out and told afc that hey you are getting into brand conflict if you do this do it this way we are branding it as a merge club so you have to call this team an afc cup debutant so they stopped posting all the past matches of mohan bagan in afc cup and there was a tweet from afc cup which called this team the debutant and and that is coming from somebody's head who absolutely detests mohan bagan okay and uh, it's it, it kind of that was the day i kind of realized that like the more these people show themselves the easier it is to like you know show to mohan bagan fans that these people are really not working uh, in the interest of mohan bagan and uh, there needs to be more protest and you know that's when the protests sort of escalated right after that so mm-hmm. it was it was in a way it was good for me and that's that's what i was talking about when i said love versus hate there was a force no, of same, hatred against mohan bagan and mohan bagan that. fans had love and in the end love won which is a very bollywood way of looking at it yes and same same thing happened during that utsav parek interview no because yeah utsav parek said that uh, mohan bagan has never played afc in their own capacity and uh, because of this larger they have been able to play in the afc cup the afc cup semi final and yeah. then so that was one of the tipping point i can see and the yeah. kind of hatred and kind of outrage i have seen in the mohan bagan circle after that interview that yeah. was something which i have never witnessed witnessed in uh, last 30 35 years during my journey as a mohan bagan fan this is something yeah. which is coming from the heart that who are we kind of thing. we are very proud to say amra kara mohan bagan that is who are we we are mohan bagan supporters and suddenly if you say that uh, mohan bagan is such a having a rich history in the afcs and other asian level and international level competition to what from for last 50 60 years or for for last 100 years and then suddenly one fine morning someone from your board only is saying that uh, mohan bagan has never played by their own in the afc and if this is the level of understanding and this is the level of uh, understanding of not only the club but also of the supporters by the board yeah. member then what exactly the board is thinking about upholding the legacy and the culture of the mohan bagan so that was mm-hmm. one of the very cultural shock to the mohan bagan supporters i will say yeah i think uh, in a, in a way i, I think uh, sanjeev goenka is a is the most pragmatic person on the board thankfully like if it was somebody else who did not have the majority shares maybe we would be like facing a very yes, different really, situation today and yes he is i perfectly agree that he is one of the most pragmatic person you can see that why he is so successful in his yeah. area of expertise because in the last 3 years also you have never seen any miscomment from mr goenka during this mm. entire fiasco there may be here and there one joy tk mon bagan or one um, gesture that when tk is being lifted what will be your answer he has made certain gestures i know that i have seen but those are very stray things you can it's an outlier but uh, mm. in general you have not seen that much of uh, miscomment or anything from mr goenka and even if you remember um, that when mr goenka purchased Lucknow, the IPL team, the Lucknow Super Giants. There were mm. uh, interviews going on in different national uh, news media and as well as TV channels. And whenever the channel was saying something about his interest on sport, he was officially uh, uh, officially calling this footballing entity as Mohan Bagan. There were yeah. videos where he was telling. that he is sort of will be or uh, is also a part of my mohan bagan football board uh, like that so i think he was uh, we always knew that he is a mohan bagan supporter his um, father was a member and i think by one and one year one and half year time he had understood that what exactly mohan bagan supporters want or how the mohan bagan culture or the mohan bagan history needs to be upheld but somehow 
the entire thing what you were telling that their official setup their executive our football team is consists of not only the owner and the supporters there are many other yeah. things involved in it so mm. it's good that within one or one and a half year these all things have sorted out or at least we are thinking that it has been sorted out uh, that we will see from the next season or the time the new the branding of the new entity starts the branding of mm-hmm. Mohanbagan football team the footballing entity start and all other things will fall in place will fall in yeah. place expected hopefully hopefully uh, but uh, you know let's just uh, go back because of course we are sort of having a, a cautious cautious optimism yes. uh, and it, you know so i would i would not use the word victory lap but we are looking back at the last 3 years of struggle and yeah. i just have never seen anything like this in indian football at least it's like there is this company which is which has which is definitely one of the richest in west bengal and one of the biggest in uh, in the country and we have these uh, these kids basically the 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 mo- remove atk movement was led by kids compared yes, to us exactly. you know it's like 100%. it's like teenagers and early 20s uh, college kids uh, young professionals Yes. literally putting themselves at risk uh yes. during pandemic and afterwards against the police no budget it's not like they had and few members also and few a few senior members also yeah, yeah a few because members we have seen many uh, senior members asking questions in the agm yeah. of the club not only once but repeatedly in 2021 22 the questions were being raised in the club mm-hmm. though one or two questions but Well, being uh, the question being raised in a AGM of the club uh, has a significance, has mm. actually a significance in this type of Mohan Bagan East Bengal type of clubs running day to day affairs. AGM yeah. means the annual general meeting of the members, and those actually carry significance. But yes, I will say that day to day basis on day to day basis, uh, these kids, twenty twenty five years teenager of these fan clubs. they have led the protest on the streets mm. that is that was very much important i personally know the kind of struggle they did to enter into the stadium with the large tifos and yeah. to actually actually smuggle the tifos through the huge barricade or the huge protest or the barriers being put by the management to smuggle through the the mohan bagan clubs the mohan bagan de banners the mohan bagan tifos and then to be in the stadium and to raise voice to continually remove atk remove atk chants and um, those things were actually i think it should go down to the history of mohan bagan absolutely i mean this is this is one of the i think for us who have been uh, active this is this is our bit of contribution to mohan bagan history you know it's like uh, what did the, the what did the mohan bagan fans during swadeshi movement do what did they do di- uh, during the independence movement no, of 1940 special, special thanks you know? to you also chiranjit i have seen you in twitter the kind of every day you minimum tweets 10 to 12 twist in protest of this kgsp management it came mohan bagan management and whenever there is a tweet from indian super league or from atk mohan bagan nc uh, atk mohan bagan fc on certain things or topics every time i have seen you matching the mood of that tweet you have said something which is so by support for supporting the fans or for supporting the new atk movement sometimes i also thought ki chiru thak nahi jata hai kya so <laughs> so, so that is also a special thanks to you also in social media you are also a front runner in uh, i mean it's, it's it it would not have it would have meant nothing if i was the only idiot just screaming from the clouds you know uh, it's uh, it in the end uh, if whoever like people who were uh, you know active on social media of course we have uh, you know the the fan clubs were also act- active on twitter uh there is this uh, account called mohan bagan fans which was also one of the biggest uh, proponents of the cause so the people who are uh, you know, doing that in twitter mohan bagan fans yeah. in twitter 
yeah 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 at the rate at the rate mohan bagan fans so whoever uh, is doing all that you know the, the people who are running those accounts and uh, investing their time on the cause they all had their uh, uh, you know uh, contribution uh, and and the and their role behind making uh, the whole thing uh, viable and, and like representing the voice of the fans uh, through it uh, it it but you know this is this is one of those uh, things that i had talks with uh, some isl people as well uh, about the mm. age of the people who were you know demanding remove atk it's like uh, you know everybody was trying to capture the young demographic right and that that mm. was one of the things i i kept trying to drill into everybody like i was telling everybody this is what the young people are saying like who uh, you, you know how much they have to care about a club if they are coming out during a pandemic to hold a protest or like they are uh, you know risking getting beaten up by police to hold a protest and these are all young people who will bring in their children they will be like the no, main without, drivers of people, the economy without young people without any organized support yeah without any money without any media support even exactly. there are, in the established media has never supported this movement they have they had to they were compelled to run sometimes some story of the remove atk because the protest was of that magnitude but yeah. they had never come out openly officially to say that yes the mohan bagan fans anger mohan bagan fans ye is justified mohan bagan fan uh, mm. depression is justified actually what they are saying is actually justified you cannot Uh, you mean a 133 year old national club of india in such a way you cannot say it's a merged club yeah so i think i think that's what uh, that's what may have uh, you know also uh, affected their decision is that they knew that the like like you want you want to have the future generations uh, interested in uh, indian football you want the the prime demographic the one who once who are going to spend a lot on merchandise they are the ones who are demanding remove atk you know so it it yeah. was it, that that was part of the whole thing because it was very clear from day one that this atk prefix was commercially detrimental to the whole business of indian football and still it they they took like 3 years and it i, I don't even know how to identify the emotion that you know causes them to like uh, you know uh, causes utsav parekh to lie about mohan bagan's history or uh, just the the people the, the the sheer high budget investment in trying to erase mohan bagan's identity and history from indian football that that happened how many crores was spent on this all for what you know it, none of it worked none of it was ever going to work and it only created hatred and turned from loyal fans turned them into protesters yes. and then yes. who suffers yes. in the end mohan bagan suffers indian football also suffers isl also suffers you know yes. there there were there were incidents of violence in the stands during and uh, during isl matches this season yes. so yes. yeah it was i what do you think this is what made them try to attack mohan bagan like this for so long because Commercial I doesn't think the ISS, uh, ISS band value also would have been on a higher note if uh, this this type of un uh, this type of things were not happened because uh, you know about the giant screening we used to giant screen so many Mohan Bagan matches important Mohan Bagan matches and all the Mohan Bagan fans friends relatives sit together flock together and enjoy the matches together in a giant screen but Barring uh, three or four, I don't think much giant screening happened uh, in the last two and a half or three years during the ATK MB matches. Yeah, in the Indian Super League semi-final and final last uh, this year, in the current year it happened. But one thing you have to understand here: those people who were going to stadium to support this team, in some way, they were also going to support Mohan Bagan. they were yeah. also not going to support atk mb the march club that's why mm-hmm. whenever uh, you saw the promos of indian super league or the atk mohan bagan uh, twitter handle those videos which has come out from atk mb twitter handle 
or uh, Facebook or Instagram, everywhere, the general crowd is saying, this is my Mohan Bagan. I have come here to uh, support the Mohan Bagan team or I have come here. This is my tribute to Mohan Bagan. So everywhere they were saying Mohan Bagan. And <laughs> Indian, sometimes there was a scenario, I think I remember just a few days back, that in a video, a fan is constantly referring this team as Mohan Bagan, Mohan Bagan, and in the subtitle, because he was filling in Bengali, there was a requirement of a subtitle. And the subtitle, FSB is, is replacing Mohan Bagan with my club, our club. Yeah. Which he didn't say, but they didn't. I think they didn't have any other option than to do because there is a legal contract between yeah. them that they cannot cannot use the Mohan Bagan terminology. But... Yeah. I believe that the ecosystem surrounding this Indian Super League and this whole fiasco has also understood that there is no other way than to brand Mohan Bagan because people are mm. not going to accept it. Yeah. To be honest, if you if you remember the the first video that ISL put out uh, on this uh, like since uh, KGSPL came to uh, Mohan Bagan fixture release of ISL 2020 uh, and 2021. And uh, there, the team was constantly being referred to as just ATK, and yes. which which is which which is very significant because they will. It's like in their contract that they cannot call this team Mohan Bagan, but the, everybody in official position was constantly calling this team just ATK, which shows that maybe that was allowed in the contract. Maybe that's in there that yes. you have to yes, you either call it ATK Mohan Bagan. Or you call it just ATK. Maybe that yeah, was maybe. also part of the But one plan, thing I would like, you know? I'd like to add here, I'd like to add here that what the things which you are saying that in the official media platform, sometimes this thing is was called as ATK. Uh, yeah. The commentators yeah. saying it ATK. But those things were stopped after one year because uh, uh, there was a huge protest. Whenever this yeah. team was called in any platform, uh, in any official platform, or any yeah. commentators, be it uh, English, be it Hindi, or be it Bengali, calls this team as ATK. There was a huge fan of road. And yeah. from next year onwards, they were very conscious. They were very conscious, and they actually always call it ATK Mohan Bagan. Um, mm. So that is there. So everything, that is also due to the understanding, the realization that the, my audience is not accepting it as ATK. Mm. So they are also, yeah. they, ISL, FSDL, uh, uh, and everybody, Star Sports, everybody is concerned about their branding or their return from the branding. So when they have yeah. understood that this uh, calling this team, the name calling ATK will not be accepted, they have changed. But ATK MV is also one thing which we cannot accept because yes. of that identity sharing which I have said. But yeah. Hopefully, the, from next time onwards, it will be Mohan Bagan. Mm, yeah, absolutely. Hopefully, yeah. I think uh, we've already seen a little bit of a shift happening. Uh, the team was referred to as uh, Mohan Bagan uh, recently. And I think uh, I was there at the Tri Nation tournament in Imphal, and yeah. even uh, when in the uh, in the press conferences, the journalists, yeah. the players, they were also just saying Mohan Bagan. Uh, yeah, so, one of my friends said that uh, Marcus is now calling this team as Mohan Bagan, so 360 degree uh, turnaround is complete. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, uh, that that's what we see. You know, We're, because uh, there is a there is a concern that they're going to just write super giants uh, as much as possible. Think, uh, I don't think. I don't think. But uh, we can't take it as granted we will see yeah. but because super giants is not a brand which is a well known brand in the well known footballing brand in the country see it's not a, it's not a, a it's 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 a company brand like we know that this is this belongs to a company which uh, uh, has different sports teams the multi sports right, so yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. Which, which which is teams in different sports so so that way we always understand that the team here is Mohan Bagan, which is associated with a corporate brand called SG or Super Giants. So yeah, it, it it would not it it actually creates confusion. It doesn't provide any clarity if you just use the uh, you highlight the Super Giants term when you're referring to yes. this team. 
Yeah. So and some people were calling that this will be a franchise. Yeah, I think all the uh, teams which were playing in the Indian Super League, they it is as per the rules of the Indian Super League that you have to form a franchise. You have to form a yeah. franchise, and then you have to say all the eleven teams are the franchise only. So yeah, uh, that's fine. That at the end of the day, uh, if it is. Mohan Bagan, then everything is fine. They all should fall in place. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but uh, so, how are you even uh, responding to uh, the final win? Uh, you know, uh, it was the team was still officially called ATK Mohan Bagan when they won it, and uh, I've seen a bit of a hesitancy from, from the day of, of the fans. final. Yeah, this this is quite an interesting story, basically. Uh, we had an invitation uh, as a family invitation for our social program on that day. And to be very honest, uh, I didn't follow the it came on Bagan playing in the final, the, the proceedings of the final, I haven't followed. So I didn't know that who has scored and who is winning, who is losing. And um, I think in tie break, they have uh, won. So I didn't know at the time, time of the match when it was happening. So trust me, the first message which I looked into because there were so many messages started coming at around 10, 25, 10, 30 in my mobile. So I thought that ATKMB has won. That is why uh, so many messages. I was curious that it should not be because it has never come because people know that I don't follow ATKMB matches. So no one will, no one will be uh, SMSing me or WhatsApping me saying that your team has become champion, your team has become champion, because that is quite unusual. Then at 10.30 around, so many times my mobile was buzzing, so I thought that let's open the social media and see what has happened. And the first thing I have seen is ATK removed. Hmm. ATK removed at around 10.25 or 10.30 though, and my WhatsApps and my Twitter notifications were so we landed it with so much of messages that yeah. um, I said, I in the in the it was a function, it was a uh, ceremony going on. So I just uh, looked around for some places where I can sit alone and I can go through the uh, social media posts that what actually has happened. And then uh, I went to the corner of the room, which was not that much of a crowd was there, and then I saw that there is an interview going on, an interview, the clips of that Sanjeev going uh, announcement was posted everywhere in the social media. And mm -hmm. I played it and I have seen that he has announced. I don't know, but that may be one of the moments when I was feeling like screaming in that packed auditorium where I was in for due to a family function. I I wanted to scream at the top of my voice that yes, yes, yes. Um, this feeling always came earlier when there was a crucial match Mohan Bagan has won or a final Mohan Bagan has won. But now this is what is like getting my club back. That something which was left blank in my day-to-day -day affairs every day. Uh, Mohan Bagan was not there, but now they are so, so relieved that, yes, we have got back Mohan Bagan. So that was the biggest high on the day of that mm -hmm. ATK MB final. Yeah, I, mean, I was uh, I was at a movie theater. Uh, I timed it so that I wouldn't, like, uh, you know, I, I can turn off the phone. And I was doing this thing on Twitter where I would go out and do something on the match day instead of watching mm -hmm. the match. Yeah, <laughs> I would just yeah, annoy yeah. everybody by posting about it. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so I, I actually came out. I saw that, uh, you know, it was a win. Uh, like, whatever, I just posted about uh, going to the movie. And uh, in the replies, I found out, everybody was saying, uh, bro, celebrate, ATK has been removed. And I was like, oh, yeah, somebody's pulling my leg. So I then <laughs> found the video. So, yeah, it... It it was, I did not expect it to be done like that, uh, you know, uh, that immediately they would come out and announce it. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, when you have been waiting for this. No, thing two, that three days back, I think two, three days back, our general secretary said that it will be icing on the cake if 
ATK Mohan Bagan wins the final, uh, ISL final, and then after that, Sanjeev Goenka announced. Uh, we yeah, didn't... but then who who really thought like that was literal? No, 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 nobody, nobody, no <laughs> one has thought. No one has thought. Yeah. Because so many things we have heard in last uh, three years, like, specifically last one and a half years, um, that yeah. ATK will be removed, ATK will be removed. Nothing had happened. Especially I told you in the previous part of the conversation that uh, before the commencement of the new season, means the 22-23 season, um, the rumors are very high that ATK will be removed before the ISL Indian Super League. and But that didn't happen. I don't know why that didn't happen. As you have also written so many things in the Twitter about taking your social media accounts of Mohan Bagan Super Giants, you actually said that uh, someone from KGSPL has contacted you and has taken your the domain. Oh. Uh. So that or oh, every all those things had actually um, there is an anticipation because of all those things. But when that didn't happen, so people are very demoralized. So yeah. uh, they started. They didn't believe every, anything. Anyone. Yeah. So whenever someone says that it will happen in near future, I have seen people responding. Let it happen first. Let yeah. it happen fast as the first initial reaction and that is how i also uh, engineer i also thought that uh, until and unless it happens officially i will not be uh, inclined to any hope or anything like that yeah. that's true but do you think this is the ultimate redemption of divashis dotto because like oh, he has been with the club forever there have been so many criticisms hurled at him uh, he was, uh, you know, known as a politician uh, who is like uh, trying to uh, align himself with different people to save his position. Uh, but in the end, he's the one who delivered uh, remove ATK, which the Postu family did not support until very late. Uh, so he's. Uh, I will. What I will say regarding these are the internal things of Mohan Bagan Club administration, but. One thing is pretty clear, because uh, if you could talk about Devashis Dotto, one thing is very clear that Devashis Dotto was also a part of that contract which was signed. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This is also true. Similarly, yeah. this is also true that Devashis Dotto led executive committee when they came in the power. They actually acknowledged the problem. They said mm-hmm. that, yes, that is a problem. There are many members, yeah. supporters, fans of this club who has not accepted this ATK prefix. And we actually are, are trying to solve this issue. This is the first time we have heard from any official committee of the club that they are recognizing the issues of the fans. From that perspective, yes, it is very good initiative and my heartfelt thanks to Devashi Zatto and Otherwise, you have to let the executive committee. Um, yeah, it's it's very uh, interesting because a lot of uh, people that we were talking to beforehand, uh, even even within the within the FSDL uh, KGSPL uh, architecture, it's like there was a very low trust level. Uh, you know, over, at, at least over the last couple of years, when the the movement was taking uh, shape, uh, at, low trust level where, uh, like, with, where? With, in in terms of how they saw Mohan Bagan Club, what they felt towards it, okay, okay. how much okay. they respected yeah. the club's identity, and really like okay. there was this there was this impression that okay they are just using Mohan Bagan to further their own brand, which is which is something that that came out uh, last year especially. That uh, yes. okay. what is what are they doing? They're just trying to highlight ATK using Mohan Bagan as a, a vehicle. But now that like they have announced remove ATK, it's like a lot of previous conversations that that was low trust. I'm like revisiting them mentally, and it's like okay, you know, it's 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 it, it, it's it's very positive now that they have delivered. That okay. it it looks like you know they they truly care about. I mean, I don't know if they care about Mohan Bagan Club emotionally, but they recognize its value and uh, they, they truly like the brand. Yeah, recognize the, recognize what 
good it can do you know and uh, indian like uh, in in terms of football you have your club which you are emotional about and the rest is all basically a business relationship that you are trying to grow together as a, a commercial yes. so and to, they finally and to leverage yeah. and to leverage that emotion for the club yeah. the authorities which are doing the business they have to understand the sentiment correctly and i think now yes. all the stakeholders associated with this indian football has understood that what exactly fans want and if the branding remains or the sack revolves around mohan bagan only you can see next year it will be a huge euphoria around mohan bagan playing indian super league at ybk or even in the away games you will find a lot lot more of mohan bagan supporters traveling fans and mm. uh, i think it will be a whole new chapter for the mohan bagan football club if it is branded properly i am again and again i am giving the disclaimer that if mm-hmm. it is branded properly uh, let's see we are very hopeful that this time it will be mm, yeah i guess hope is uh, what we have and of course this is today is 2nd april when we are recording and what has happened today is uh, uh, this uh, street in siliguri is uh, being uh, named mohan bagan avenue and yes. uh, you know i think i think this was a per- very perfect example of what uh, happens of course there's a uh, there will be a street called east bengal uh, also that uh, that will be unveiled uh, later this year in siliguri and uh, of course that's so what siliguri you do if you're a politician been regarded siliguri is always been regarded mostly as the east bengal den so being a street yeah. named after mohan bagan in siliguri is a, a huge uh, thing for the mohan bagan club mohan yeah bagan that's camp, like it's like an east bengal lane in uttar kolkata that uh, that's yes, like yes, precisely precisely <laughs> you are having an east bengal lane in bag bazar or in uh, sham bazar in the old mohan bagan area it is like that only you remember yeah. the stengan celebration of sony note day yeah. in uh, siliguri <laughs> because i think that was the first time in the recent years mohan bagan defeated uh, east bengal in siliguri in i league that was the very first time i think that was the very first time and yeah. there was such a comprehensive win and the we all the mohan bagan supporters fondly remember that memory yeah. of beating at the rivals in their den <laughs> yeah so yeah of, of course uh, and i think this this is partly like uh, it it summarizes the spirit of mohan bagan that you attack the identity of mohan bagan and it just comes back stronger now we it's like literally all those fans who kept telling me over the last three years that uh, of fans of other clubs mohan bagan is dead i mm. i would tell many of them just look at mohan bagan in google maps and it's going to show you exactly where it is you can go there and you can see with your own eyes if it's dead or alive and yes. that's that's the that's the thing now you can like even find a mohan bagan uh, in Uh, siliguri as well uh, i'm pretty sure like there are it's it's going to be replicated in other towns across west bengal also in the coming years yes yes right right so, you know that's so yeah i guess i guess this is uh, this is not just uh, this is not just typical of mohan bagan this is this applies to east bengal as well that uh, this yes. whole attack yes. on these clubs there was i mean i i see i, I do see as as i talked about early in this podcast that atletico de kolkata was an attempt to uh, monopolize kolkata football and kill is doing all and mohan bagan that was very obvious which in the way they saw it didn't happen exactly didn't happen. that is only because of these millions of supporters millions of people yeah. who at the the most uh, this with these clubs mohan bagan and east bengal do not have that much of money by their own or um, but the biggest asset of these two clubs are the human capital that is yeah. the people on the street support this club they are emotion attached to this club so you can take everything by money you can over but you cannot overpower the sentiment the emotion mm. i guess that's that's something that a lesson that needed to be uh, demonstrated to the larger indian football family that there is something beyond the brand there is something yeah. beyond corporate you know it's not like you put you put money in and money comes out it indian football is not a slot machine it has people you know you're not uh, just 
playing a uh, commercial game here. You are you are dealing with actual emotions, and uh, uh, this is a credit to both Mohan Bagan and East Bengal that uh, that huge high budget attempt to sideline them from uh, Indian football has failed. And next season, I think we are going to see a baggage free return of yeah. Mohan Bagan and East Bengal and the Kolkata Derby finding its full form and. This is a message to everybody in Indian football that you may not like us. You may find yourself insecure because these two clubs have been around for hundreds of hundreds of years and like more than hundred years, and they've achieved things that you have not done. You're stuck with us. You have to deal with us. You know we're not going anywhere. You can try to tell us that Mohan Bagan is dead, but Mohan Bagan will be here even after your grandkids are gone. You know we are a reality. Deal with it. I think. I think that's what that's what <laughs> that's the biggest what difference. I want to say. That's the biggest difference. That Mohan Bagan, you what come what may, whatever you do in Indian football, you have to take the brand of Mohan Bagan and East Bengal into account first. You cannot sideline Mohan Bagan and East Bengal and then try to create something new in the Indian football or something um, which requires the emotional support from the crowd. Without Mohan Bagan and East Bengal, that is not possible. Yeah, I guess so, and I think that's that's what is going to ensure the club's survival and future flourishing. And I, I do hope how like, these clubs are being survived. But I yeah. said that uh, human capital is their biggest asset. You may call it an intangible asset, but mm. this has a huge branch brand value. This has a huge brand value. Yeah, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, all, all that war comes to an end, and we can, you know, instead of fighting yes, against finally. our management, fighting against our management, fighting against people, fighting against the trolling, fighting against the different kinds of mean jokes, instead of all those things, hopefully from next year onwards, we will be concentrating on on the field that is on the yeah. game of football. And to be very honest, I have to go through the websites and everything to know who all are playing for Mohan Bagan and what is this which the same kind of things which he used to do till 2020. To yeah. I have to again get back into that group. I have to again get back into that habit. And I think it's uh, may not be equal for you because you being a journalist, even if you don't want, you have to take. You have to keep track of the Indian football, its players, their playing position, and all those things. But it is not same for us. It's not same for us like fans. When we were disassociated with this team, we were mentally disassociated. We didn't mm-hmm. want to keep any kind of news that who is playing, who is our uh, most important player, who scored how many goals. Those are the things which comes when you. Actually, follow a club. If you don't follow a club, then what is the point in keeping all these news? Mm-hmm. So that thing we didn't do. At least I haven't done. So I have to again start doing. And I have already started my research. This much I can tell you. Um, let's see next season. Are you going to be watching Super Cup or are you waiting for next season? Super Cup, yeah, I will watch. I will watch now. I will watch because Super Cup is the stepping stone for me to be migrated into the Indian Super League portion of Mohan Bagan. Because unless I watch the Super Cup, I will not be knowing the players who plays in which position and how they play. I will watch. And now, okay. after more ATK Mohan Bagan becomes uh, the ISL champion, and I think. Everywhere in uh, all the, uh, the uh, recognition is there for the Mohan Bagan club only. Because in any case, technically, they, that club was playing with the Mohan Bagan registration, Mohan Bagan football club registration. But even in the branding part also, in last two months or last one and a half months uh, post-winning and post-announcement of Mohan Bagan Super Giant, I have not seen an ATK branding in it. So mm. that's fine. I will watch the Super Cup. Awesome. Uh, of course, uh, the fan clubs uh, who have been uh, uh, leading the movement, they said we're coming back next year. I'm pretty sure like individually, a lot of them will be watching again uh, during yes, the Super yes, Cup. Yes. Yes, so yeah. yeah, then, but the collective entities uh, will not come back uh, until 
the remove ATK happens officially, that we actually come out and see the social media handles change and we, we what get is to your see news that. when when they are going to uh, officially implement it but look when the legal I think during during the summer i uh, is the, is going to be my guess i have not asked about the exact mm -hmm. dates we saw on fan mm -hmm. code uh, that uh, they they had written mohan bagan super giants but later they changed it back to atk mohan bagan and uh, i think that was just an just a mistake from whoever yeah. was in there in the website. So yeah, it's 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 probably going to be next season. Uh, we, till the till the Super Cup uh, and the and the AFC qualifier that we're going to play against uh, Hyderabad FC, it's going to be. Uh, uh, unfortunately, the ATK prefix will still be there. Uh, but yeah, hopefully after that, uh, you know, we can finally go back to the stadium. And you have not used your tickets for a long time. I think as a member, you are uh, entitled to match oh, tickets. I was entitled for two match tickets every match, but I have not taken my tickets for last three years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully we get to uh, do that. I am not a member. I will be buying a season ticket. Uh, but I did, not I, I did renew my membership. But I did renew yeah. my membership with the Mohan Bagan Mother Club. I did that. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. And of course, of course, like a... a Hopefully, uh, you know, this next season is looking good at uh, Mohan Bagan Athletic Club because hopefully we get to watch football, cricket, hockey, athletics all at the same uh, yes. time. Hockey, and... you have seen that we have won. The yeah. Hockey after coming back to the main To be, to be honest, league. To be honest with you, it looked like that uh, when everybody was uh, celebrating, it was people were celebrating two things, remove ATK and the hockey title. Seems like the ISL yes. playoff cup was just it just it was just there, you know. <laughs> it yes. was just something that happened. But the main cause of celebration was removed it all this time. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. So yeah. Right. Hopefully, hopefully we get to, you know, enjoy next season. Hopefully our arch rivals make a stronger team because otherwise it's getting boring. Uh, and that, uh, that very much required for them to have a stronger team because uh, day by day is becoming derby means uh, we will be winning. So yeah, uh, it has to be. Uh, but there are some competitive games that I agree. But the end result is always in the form heavily uh, inclined towards the manager. Mm. Yeah. Hopefully we uh, we win either way. But you know, let's see some uh, potential from them, and uh, you know that, that way it, it you know we project Kolkata football. Uh, together as a stronger powerhouse in Indian football, and okay. thank you once again for uh, you know taking the time. Uh, it's it was okay. great to like sort of uh, have this kind of a releasing of emotions with you, uh, and okay. uh, just sort of just sort of get back to this ground level of uh, you know uh, stable positive optimism for the next season, which was not there for a very long time, even for me personally. Yes, yes. The feeling is mutual, Chiranjit. Nice to back in on your radio show once again after three years, and hopefully, the subsequent three years will not be like what we have with experience from 2020 to 2023, and we will have actually we will have a blast on the ground. Absolutely. So thank you everybody for uh, listening in uh, on this uh, conversation. Uh, stay tuned after the Super Cup. We will be back with more episodes uh, as we take a regular look into what's going on in Indian football. Cheers.